hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another exciting tutorial from ansible so this will be a continuation of ansible tutorial for beginners and uh, in this tutorial we'll be talking about uh, ansible conditions so this will be you know in the ansible playbook we'll be using different conditions to you know uh, for checking a lot of things in the tutorial so we'll see about all this in this uh, tutorial so basically what we will do is we'll be seeing the when condition statement so how to use that in ansible playbook how to write that and you know how to make sure you know that works so in a playbook you know uh, the scenarios happens like you know you want to execute a different task and based on a value from a fact or variables or output from a other task right so you you want to control you know the task you don't want to run that always you want to run it based on some condition right then that condition can be based on some facts values or it can be uh, variable or it can be an output from a different you know task which is running so in that scenarios we'll be using when statements and when conditions so you'll be able to control the task so uh, why we are not using if else you know usually in the programming there is also one conditional statement like if else right or for loop those kind of things so uh, in the ansible we'll be using when statement we will not be using if uh, statements so why we are doing that and what is the difference you are doing that also we'll be able to see in this tutorial and we also will see like some different scenarios like you know um, uh, uh, the usage of when with uh, you know some facts or with some variables or some roles so in these conditions you know how we can make use of it so as i said you know why you know if else or not is not used and when is used so basically what happens is like you know in a, s a simple scenario like if it's a if condition which we are using in a normal programming how it will be like uh, let's consider we have a system okay and we want to install something on that uh, machine probably let's take a scenario like you know i want to install you know um, apache so what we will do is like in the if condition what we will do is if apache uh, is not installed on the system right so that will be the first action we will do so based on that if it's not installed then we will be taking an, an action that you know steps uh, to be installed right so that would be the normal scenario like in a in if condition if uh, you know this uh, PC don't have you know uh, an application installed then you install it that's how you do it right whereas in ansible you know what we will do use is like we'll be using when condition so in when condition you know again you know if the same scenario if we take if the in the system what we will write is we will first write the steps or action to you know what, which has to be done so for example in this scenario of apache we'll be writing like you know steps to install apache then we will tell okay do this uh, when there is no apache install right so that doesn't mean like even though we have written the steps uh, to do this it will not be running those unless the when condition is met so that's the difference so it's almost does the same thing but the when condition is also a pretty good option so we'll see why you know we write when conditions in uh, different scenarios right so uh, let's uh, give me let me give you a simple scenario right you know, like uh, when we uh, in create a playbooks uh, we have to run that on different kind of servers right so we have the bns or red hat uh, you know play uh, machines on the some installation is to be running so when we talk about this apache instance itself so in the bn you will have to use like apache to write the package or app pack uh, you know, commands uh, modules whereas in the red hat you can use yam module and you know httpd right so uh, you will have to create separate uh you no know, uh, playbooks right so if you run the same playbook it will not run on the same uh different kind of uh, operating system so what you can create it the same uh, you know on the same play like task you can define one task for installing uh, app other task for yam so what will happen is when you run that task you know it will uh, try to run it both and in some of uh, in uh, apt modules will not run on the red hat whereas the yam module will not run on the debian right so it will try to run it and it will fail and to skip that probably you can add ignore error so it will continue the play but you know it's actually will try to attempt it but that is not the actual uh, 
you know, ideal case right or it should not be the way how it should be like it should not even run it on the bn or you know uh, apt uh, module should not be run on the bn and yeah module uh, you know, uh, sorry that module should not be run on red hat and yam module should not run on debian so in these scenarios we can use yam uh, when statement so we can tell like okay if the os is uh, debian don't run this if os is red hat don't run this so we'll see about this uh, in this uh, demo session or how to do that okay just want to tell you a scenario so before i get into the actual demo process i would request you like if you're new to my channel or if you haven't subscribed to my channel click on the subscribe button and also you know like this video share and comment so let's get started uh, with the demo so i have uh, two machine right one is this ansible where i i'll be running the ansible playbook and the other one you know which is uh, the local host which is the you know, machine where i'll be running this uh, uh, you know, place so this machine's ip address everything is set into the host inventory so uh, when you run the uh, no uh, playbook it will run it on uh, the test servers group which will run it on the the machine so let's start so basically let to give you a simple scenario so you know this uh, play or you know this uh, play ansible playbook if you see i'm using host as test web servers so test servers in which that uh, machine is listed and i'm uh, running a simple command like shell up time right and this output is registered into a a variable call result and I'm printing that result over here right so let me uh, just run this uh, on this machine okay so let me create a file called Hansible conditional.yml and let me insert this okay and uh, I will run this So if I run this uh, YAML file, you can see we got some output, right? Which is running from the you know, uptime, right? The uptime and which is stored into the variable and that is uh, written in the message uh, section, right? So if you see this debug, you know, we are uh, outputting the result. So now what I would want to do is I want to display this only, you know, when um, some condition is met, right? So I, let me just update this uh, YAML file in that way. So what I want to do is, you know, I want to add a condition. So I'm going to use when statement here. And so this will be in the same line as, you know, the debug or the name. So it is applicable only for this uh, task. So what I'm adding is I'm adding, uh, you know, a fact, which is called uh, Ansible OS family and it's uh, called Red Hat, right? So if you remember, I can just show you that so let me clear out the screen if you remember this uh, add command which i showed you in my, uh, one of my tutorial for ansible variables and fact it will give you a complete list of facts which we can use right so if you see these are uh, some set of facts which uh, we can use it for uh, no, any place where we can run it so for example you see ansible os family is red hat right so this is the one which we are using uh, for that you can also use other facts as well okay so now if you see what i'm telling is like you know if this uh you know uh, should output should be shown only when the os family matches right so i'm just going to copy this and i'm going to uh, edit the you know uh, previous uh, yaml file so you can see i've just updated the yaml file i'm going to save this and uh, let me run ansible playbook and ansible conditional yaml now you can see we got the same output why because uh, it matches so you know the condition for red hat now if i change the same uh, yaml file and if i change this uh, red hat to uh, you know debian so it does not match let's see what we get the output let me edit this and uh, let me put Debian. Okay, let me save this and uh, let me run the playbook again. Now, if you see, you know, this time skipping uh, the printing variable. Why? Because uh, it does not match the uh, when condition. So it has executed this and it has stored the value 
uh, inside you know that uh, variable result but it's not printing the output because the when statement for Debian it is not matching so it's, it, it does this action only when it is matches that condition so I hope that is very clear for you in this uh, this uh, example right now let's see in another example so if you see this is another uh, playbook uh, you know which I want to just share as an example so now if you see I, I want to install Apache on uh, two scenarios right the same uh, play or and there are two tasks one task is for installing Apache on CentOS and another task is to install Apache on Ubuntu right so if you see one we are using the you know, sh name of an uh, application as HTTPD another one is as uh, Apache 2 right so it should be M module here it's, it should be not shell so it should be M okay so you can see uh, we are using M module uh, for uh, HTTPD right and we are using the app module for Apache 2 so what happens is if you run this and if you have multiple uh, servers on the test servers so currently I have only one server which is uh, for CentOS so you know if it, this will run and this one will fail okay so but you know what I want to do is like in the ideal case where you have a collection of servers on the test server which are you know, both uh, Red Hat and also Debian so when you run this uh, uh, Ansible playbook what will happen is the whole both uh, tasks will be running on both the servers and some of the servers will fail for some and some of will uh, work right so we want to exclude that uh, topic so what we want to do is we want to add when here and we want to add a condition here so what I will do is I will add a when condition so if you see I will add OS family red hat here and uh, OS family Debian here so what will happen now if I run this uh, you know, play uh, playbook uh, in this collection of servers even these servers have both Debian and both uh, Red Hat what will happen is this task will be running only on Red Hat uh, servers this will be skipped for uh, on Red Hat servers whereas this task will be running only on uh, Debian or Ubuntu servers where this will not be even action because this condition does not met that so let's try that okay so I will just copy this and I'll go to the same machine even though now I don't have a you know, Ubuntu uh, machine connected to this but I just want to show you so let me just uh, create a file so we can just save this uh, same playbook here okay and uh, we can run Ansible playbook and table conditional dot yaml now we can see you know it has uh, done the installation of Apache on uh, the CentOS machine so you can see it has done that whereas it has skipped this because it, it uh, met this condition but this is not met right so whereas if, if I had you know both the machines it would be running both uh, you know if we have if I had only Ubuntu it would have run this and this would have been skipped so this is a clear scenario like when uh, which cases we can use when statement and this, this is really useful uh, for uh, bu building up your uh, place so let me also show you another one of uh, example like which using loop right if you see this uh, play you know I'm uh, running a simple command right to echo this content of loop right and here I can use when statement where uh, this item is greater than uh, 5 so if you see it should it will not echo this two three and four it should echo only uh, six eight and ten right so let me run this and show you how it works uh, so let me re re recreate a file for the play so let's just save this file and let's just run the playbook now if you see this uh, play you know it has run the task and if you see it is skipping the two uh, 0 2 and 4 it's changed it's uh, exceeded uh, it's given the output only for 6 8 10 right so in the loop you know we had a uh, hold the variables uh, but it has taken only these three content right so there's another example like how to use when statement with loops as well let me also show you an another uh, scenarios how we can use so this is another uh, play I just want to show you like how we can use it along with the registering the content right we showed you uh, the message to read and based on that we can do uh, here you know I'm just doing a little bit more like if you see 
uh, this uh, task what we are doing is we are checking the content of this folder ansible uh, root ansible right and it's saved under the contents uh, variable so now what I'm doing is I'm going to display display a message as uh, directory is uh, directory is empty when this contents you know it's blank so if we don't have anything in the content it will give you a message so based on this registered value I'm trying to output something here right and if it's some values is there it this will not be even uh, running because this will not be blank so let's see this how it works okay so uh, I can just show you like this machine I have a folder called ansible and uh, nothing is there so uh, let me go to the ansible machine so let me run this uh, playbook so I have already saved it so now if I run the playbook now you can see I got a message like ansible directory is empty right because uh, the folder you know which uh, in the other machine or the machine which is under the test servers it's empty so probably now we can try to create some file here maybe you know uh, vi test.txt and uh, we can just save something and uh, I will just save it okay so now let's go back here and let's try to run the com uh, playbook again now we can see it it has skipped this uh, play uh, task itself because we it's uh, checked uh, for the value of content or you know which has been saved as uh, you know when we use the register so you know when we register it it has saved it to this variable right content now uh, contents.std out is actually having some value there so it has skipped this whole task itself so that's another way you know you can make use of the variables which you save from register and then that you can use it for other uh, tasks to control other tasks based on the value from it and it's not only the uh, task which we can control we can even control the roles so I'm not going to show any roles at this uh, side because we had a separate tutorial on roles where I told you how to create roles so now oh, you know if you have multiple roles there also you can use the when statement and you can control what role has to be running and which scenarios so these are some facts it's not only the facts uh, I showed you like you can you also use the register you know va values from some of the previous uh, tasks that is one option you can also use loops you can also you check for variables so you, there are different ways you can make use of the when uh, condition so that is all for this tutorial so I hope uh, I have shown you different scenarios when uh, you know this Ansible playbook when conditions is used and uh, you know I'm hoping this tutorial is informative for you so I would request you to subscribe uh, the channel for more videos and uh, click on the bell icon so you'll be notified when I submit for more videos okay so thank you for watching